All right, at this time we'll call the meeting to order. Uh, we're going to change up a few things on the agenda. Um, the first item we're going to do tonight, we're going to move item um, 8C to the very front, and that will be uh, J.P. Burnham and Joanne Amber. They're from uh, Bob Taylor, the one that's uh, helping us with our fire station, and um, they're going to come and make a presentation to the board. Thank you all for, for being here. Thank you for having us. As you said, um, I'm J.P. Bernal. This is Joe Amber. I'm an intern architect with Robert E. Taylor, uh, AIA architect PA in Palatka, and she is the project manager. Um, we are here to present the drawings and project manual with the specifications of the Theresa Substation 2 project. I understand you have received drawings and the project manual this past Monday, uh, hand delivered. Um, the advertisement for invitation to bid is ready to be published upon your approval, um, and, it is, and it includes, but not limited to, there will be a mandatory pre-bid meeting held at 2 p.m. Thursday, August 31st, 2017, here uh, in this room, and it will be followed by a bid meeting on September 14th at 2 p.m. <coughs> No bidder may withdraw his bid for a period of 60 days after the date set for the bid opening. Each bid must be accompanied by a bid bond in the amount of 5% of the base bid. 100% performance and labor and material payment bonds will be required of the successful bidder. <coughs> the bid proposal shall be submitted in original form with two copies. The Bradford County Board of Commissioners specifically reserved the right to exercise provision of local preference unless you guys say otherwise. Um, a copy of this ordinance is available upon request. <coughs> the Board of County Commissioners also reserved the right to accept or reject any and all bids and to waive any informalities. Construction documents consisting of drawings, project manual, and project manual will be available through Bradford County website or a physical copy can be obtained from the office of the architect for a non-refundable fee of $45. <coughs> Questions concerning this project are to be direct, directed to the office of Robert E. Taylor AIA, AIA Architect PA via fax at 386-325-0608 or email and or email at taylor at ret-tbd.com. Questions shall be submitted to the architect's office no later than seven days prior to the date of the schedule for um, opening of bids. I'm going to go over a brief summary of the work, which is which includes but not limited to site work, um, is clearing and grading the entire site with limits of clearing within limit within the limits of clearing, excuse me. Site within construction limits after clearing and sh stripping to have topsoil stockpile for later use. Water retention area located on the south side of the site. Paving to be reinforced concrete over properly prepared subgrade. And the site utilities include potable water connection provided by Clay County Utility Authority. On-site sewage treatment and disposal system. Um, power provided by Clay Electric, data and communications provided by owner from the new communications tower, new LP gas tank provided by local LP and gas company acceptable to owner, connections to building gas systems by the, by the contractor. The building construction includes new pre-engineered metal building with steel studs and drywall at designated interior faces of wall, <coughs> pre-finished metal wall panels at exterior, exterior walls and columns to be supported on studs, or excuse me, exterior walls and columns to be supported on monolithic reinforced concrete footings and reinforced concrete slab. Interior walls are to be steel studs with gypsum wallboard on each face. Some walls are to be fire rated, some insulate, insulated for sound attenuation. Roof structures to be pre-finished metal panels over steel purlins with pre-finished metal trim, soffits, gutters, and downspouts. Doors, windows, and hardware are to be pro uh, provided 
Interior finishes consist of vinyl composition tile, <coughs> natural or stained concrete with painted walls, sus sus suspended drywall and or acoustical tile ceiling, complete plumbing, plumbing, mechanical and electrical systems to be provided. Mechanical includes a new exhaust and ventilation system, fittings and device for a complete system. New LP gas fire unit heaters and vehicle bay are to be provided by owner and installed by contractor. And plumbing system includes accessible restrooms and showers. The new LP gas tank provided by local LP gas company acceptable to owner. Connections to gas system will be done by the contractor. Electrical, electrical work includes complete electrical system and main panel, conduit, wiring fixtures, devices, and trim as shown on the drawings and specified, including conduit boxes, trim, plates, wiring, and modular connectors for telephone and data systems within the building. New LP gas fire generator with automatic transfer switch to be purchased by owner and installed by a contractor. Uh, equipment provided by and installed by owner include air compressor and ice maker and furnishings provided by installed, provided and installed by owner include workstation partitions. And with your approval, we will we would like to move forward to the fitting phase. The board of, um, there's a copy of the plans there, if you haven't seen them. Um, they did an excellent, they did an excellent job of uh, redoing the plans for us and getting everything together. And, uh, a little more nervous tonight than you were in the meeting the other day, huh? <laughs> it makes you nervous when everybody's staring at you. <laughs> They're not here for you, though. <laughs> I, I, know, I know who you're here for. <laughs> so, so you don't have to get nervous. I got you covered over here. All right. So, yeah, but I, I do appreciate it. Everything looks awesome. And uh, does the board have any questions for me? Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Because we moved this item up, we want to see if there are any public comments. On okay. This. Um, is there any public comments on uh, on item 8C? This is for the uh, uh, request for the uh, Thressa Fire Department station to be built, and also our tax collector's office, and uh, it will be an annex of the sheriff's office and the um, clerk's office. Any any comments from the public? All right. Would seeing you, none. Danny. When you said the rest, do you mean the one down at Speedville or up further up by, uh, by I, I should have said Speedville, yes, sir. Okay. You're right, by Speedville, yes, sir. Okay, that, yes, was, sir. that was my concern because I knew the yes, sir. people didn't go that far out. That <laughs> yes, far. yes okay. sir. Yeah, it's Speedville uh, down there. It's the uh, back side of the Watson Center is where it is at. Exactly. All right, so you no know questions? Um, good. All right. Do I have a motion to uh, allow them to proceed with this project? I make a motion to approve. Okay, we have a motion by Commissioner Daltrey. Second. Um, second by Commissioner Thompson. Any other questions? All in favor by sign of aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Any opposed? Motion carries 5-0. I sure do appreciate it, and um, I'm looking forward to getting this thing going. So uh, thank you all very much. Thank, thank you for your thank time you. and your presentation. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.